Yo, what's up guys? Magic Time here, bringing you episode 2 of Breakdown. So, as you see, this is not a breakdown thing, uh, part of the breakdown episode. I just want to ask you guys a question. I was wondering, anybody, if they knew you could get a knife through a wall. No. <laughs> I was wondering if anybody could make me an intro for the breakdown series. Um, I'd greatly appreciate it, and if you could do that, just contact me through a PM, and uh, we'll get that sorted out. So I got two games of sabotage for you today. They're both pretty quick. This first one being on Quarry and the second one being on Wasteland. So I got the standard intervention or sniper setup. Um, and let's just go right into the bird view of Quarry. So this is a pretty big map. It's not the largest map in the game, but it's, it's a good size. Um, right here, if you look at the map, our spawn is right at the bottom in the green area highlighted and their spawn is where in the building where the red arrow is pointing. Um, there are many routes you can take um, to get to that bomb site that I have pointed out. You can either go left up the ramp or take a similar route and go up that way or you can go right towards the bomb and I'm more of a support player being the sniper I'm not really the guy trying to plant the bomb so I'm not going to go that way or right off the spawn I could go right and if I'm successful in doing what I'm trying to do and push their spawn back I'd be pushing their spawn right into their sabotage site or where the bomb uh, site is and you do not want to do that you want to have complete map control and sabotage you gotta have teamwork you gotta communicate so that's not that's not the way I want to go and as I highlighted in yellow I'm gonna go up the ramp because I want to push their spawn back or control their spawn to where they're spawning now or even farther back. So as I go for the cheeky little throwing knife I do not hit. Um, I go right up the ramp and I'm going to push their spawn back. I've communicated with my team that I'm going to go do that and I want them to go get the bomb. So as you come around this corner there's some spots that I've highlighted that you want to look out for. They could be in the opening in the wall or right behind the air conditioning vent. Their bomb site is right there so it's going to be um a lot of people are going to camp around it, try and whore kills. So when you come around this corner, make sure to watch out for it. And as you'll see, there is a guy camping there right now. I uh, drop down, avoid the shots, wait for him to stop shooting, pop up, and shoot him. Uh, I, mo I know you guys might be thinking quick scoping is always a good thing to do, but in a situation like that where you're pinned down, what I like to do is uh, crouch up where he still can't see you and hard scope where he is when you stand up and when you stand up he's already in your crosshairs and all you have to do is shoot so he doesn't have as much reaction time and you can watch me fail right here um, so I've, they have at least half their team on respawn right now so I've decided to go grab the bomb which my teammate has transported all the way to the bomb site and I only have to do the easy thing which is plant it so they're all coming from one point there's only really one spot they can come from unless they marathon lightweight it all the way around the back which I don't think they would want to waste their time doing as we just planted the bomb and they only have about 30 seconds at this time. So they're all going to be spawning pretty much like right that way that I'm facing, that I was facing right there. And all I have to do is choke them, I, so to say. Uh, people call it a choke point where you're just in the middle of where they're trying to get and um, uh, where you are. So here they their spawn moved, but we can still choke them. It's same concept. Um, I'm trying to go for some jump shots as I get a hit marker, um, but I get them right there. That's already the end of the first game. Um, I go f what is it five and zero, oh, five one and zero, oh, and let's get on to the second map of Wasteland, which is a very large map. Um, I was rocking the Famas with a similar setup except with Marathon um, I was still playing the support role and um, let's see what happens uh, what I explained right here so this is a very large map <laughs> had to back up quite a bit in the spectator mode to get everything in view <laughs> and as you see in the green area highlighted that's where we spawn and the red area is their bomb site and where they spawned so I either can go left as I'm heading towards, I kind of already gave that away, <laughs> or I can go right. And as I mentioned in my the earlier sabotage match, if I'm successful, I'd be pushing them right into the sabotage, sabotage site. So I don't want to go that way. Or I could go right at the middle, 
But as I already stated also, I'm the support player. I don't want to go that way. I want to support the person with the bomb, and so I'm going to go that way, straight towards the bomb site, and support him all the way up to the bomb site. As I just said, bomb site 30 times. Um, I've communicated with my team. It's always good to communicate with your team. It's probably one of the most important things in a game where you want to win, uh, where winning is important to you. As you see, I only have one person in my party right now. Uh, this was late at night, these two games, and there wasn't really anybody any on. So the people that are on weren't talking, so it was pretty much just up to me and my friend. But we were lucky and we got good teammates. In public matches, you have to do a lot of the work yourself if you're playing with 80% of the community, which is dumb. So you either get straight up lucky or you got to do a lot of the work. So here we got lucky in our team is supporting us well and if you look at what just happened I told him to plant it as I saw that they were all on the other side of the map and there was no way he couldn't get the plant off unless he got neeptooed by that guy which was almost which was firing at me so as the bomb was planted there's only one way they can come from because behind me is my team and they're all spawning right there so there was no way that they were going to come behind me and I just set up shop and was picking them all off. So I stupidly called in my predator missile and got killed while I was in my predator missile but it's okay I went 5-1 and one and that was another quick sabotage game. Good teamwork, good map control, all around good stuff. So it's been magic time guys. Breakdown episode 2. Hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment, and leave your suggestions. Hope you enjoyed. I'm out, guys. Peace.